Hi, I'm Teresa. Welcome to My Sweet Digs, also known as my nerdy, geeky, Parisian chic home. But before you come in, subscribe below. Come on in. I live in this three-story townhouse in the Bronx with my husband, Adrian. We purchased our home for $360,000 and our mortgage is about $19.04 and some change a month. And we think it's like the perfect amount for the amount of space we have. I am a literary agent, um, which a lot of people don't know what I do until they do and then they try to sell me their book. The neighborhood we live in is the South Bronx, um, specifically Morrisania. Even though it's in New York and it's a giant urban city, it's kind of tranquil oasis in the middle of a very busy, crazy city. This is our kitchen. I love food a lot, so I don't really have one favorite, but I guess recently my favorite is cooking pork chops. My husband, on the other hand, can make hot dogs and hamburgers and spaghetti. We're working on his culinary skills right now, so we're trying to do a lot more stuff together. I love the kitchen. It does feel a little dated. And we're thinking of changing the color of the cabinets, either a blue or a gray color. What do you think? Um, let us know in the comments. This is our half bathroom. One of the things you learn when you're looking for any place, even if it's an apartment, is that sometimes you have to compromise. And I really, really wanted two full bathrooms, but I had to settle for one full bathroom and half bath. I sort of miss it, but I don't miss it enough that I would have changed. This is our dining area and our living room. So I really love gold, if you haven't noticed. Um, and so I really wanted to find a decanter set that matched my style. So I found one that had gold polka dots and it's the decanter with glasses. I wanted to have the kind of Mad Men setup that Don Draper does. And with my job, um, day drinking is sometimes necessary because when you get bad news, sometimes you wanna take a drink. The couch that we have is the first grown-up thing that my husband and I bought together. We decided that we wanted to spend a good chunk of money on a piece of furniture, and it ended up being our couch. So one of the sentimental items I have in the living room is the photo from our honeymoon. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, he decided to plan part of our honeymoon trip to the Harry Potter studio in London. We didn't actually realize that we were near the nine and three quarters station. And so we decided to take a picture there, me repping House Slytherin and him being a Hufflepuff. We decided to buy a house um, because we kind of just were tired of being in an apartment, um, tired of being beholden to a landlord. And I tend to be the kind of person that when I decide to make a decision on something, then I make a decision on something and make it happen. And so I decided we should buy a house. And so we bought a house. This is our backyard. I would love, 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 love to repave our backyard. One of the things that happens is weeds keep popping up, so it'd be nice if all of this was paved except for our tree. And I absolutely would love, love, love a hot tub back here. I am originally from San Francisco, so I grew up in a townhouse similar to this one. When I first walked into this house, it felt like the house I grew up in, and I think that was one of the deciding factors in us making an offer on it. This is our master bedroom. I like for my home to feel, especially the bedroom, to feel like a hotel. Hotels tend to stay white, and so I want it to have that hotel feel here in my room, and that's why I have a white comforter set. So I have a female empowerment section in my room, and because um, I like geeky stuff, they're all women mainly from comic books, I like having it above here so that when I wake up in the morning and I'm getting ready, it kind of gives me like the strength and the power I need to start the day. Here's our full bathroom. I do the 10 step Korean skincare routine. I only kind of do seven steps, but because I kept forgetting the order, I wrote it all down on this list here by the sink so I can remember. The worst part of my apartment is this pink towel in both bathrooms. Like I just don't like pink in general, but it just feels so wrong to have pink towel. This is our guest bedroom. I'm really excited for it to be used for the first time when my husband's family comes in August. This is a small bedroom slash my office with my convertible sit stand desk. The hope is that one day this room will not just be my office but will also be a baby room. This is the basement. Over here we have our gym area. In the back is my husband's man area. Not quite a cave but that's kind of where he hangs out. It's one of our older couches from our apartment before we bought our fancy couch. And then next to the gym area is my library. I love reading, so I don't quite have a favorite book. My favorite book lasts as long as I'm reading the book. 
but that's also why I really wanted to have a library. I fell in love with books a long time ago, I think probably when I was in kindergarten, and have been reading frequently ever since. The reason the chairs are facing each other is so that when we have a disagreement, we can actually sit face to face and talk it out. Having been together for 12 years, we've learned that it's important for communication to read the other person's body language. I would describe our home style as very kind of geeky, nerdy, Parisian chic. You can see all my nerdy accoutrements around and my lightsabers up there somewhere. I love anime. I grew up watching it. Um, Sailor Moon was one of the first anime I fell in love with. The Bronx is really great because it's like this borough that's in New York and it feels really peaceful and you can hear the birds chirping outside which is like very tranquil and it feels great to be in this big house where I can hop on the subway and like go to the Met or the Natural History Museum but I have a house where it's quiet. Thank you for checking out My Sweet Digs. To subscribe, click here. And for more videos, click here.